Good morning, Holy Spirit. We thank the Lord for such a wonderful gift of today. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for the start of a new day and your love surrounding us this day. We praise you that your presence is guiding us for our daily success and good health. Amen. Friends, this morning, Jesus' appearance to John in Revelation chapter 1 brings a great awareness of his power and his interest in the seven churches, and especially you and I. The certainty of his presence today is to bring victory to our current circumstances and lift us to new heights of faith and assurance of victory. Friends, with this brief overview, please pause for a moment with me and let's identify our own Patmos, Room Island, where John was put in prison and disabled him from ministering to the needs of the seven churches. John's words in Revelation chapter 1 verse 9 tells us that I am John, your brother. In Jesus, we are partners in suffering in the kingdom of God and in patience and endurance. Uh, an invitation to see that the testimony he is giving here is speaking to people like us during times when we are trapped, disabled by situations beyond our control. Then John relates how, in his own difficult situation or problem, Jesus' appearance amazed his sense of hopelessness. John describes how he was captivated or charmed by the majesty and power of Christ and was brought to the Savior's feet in worship. An encounter that resulted in practical guidance, assurance of victory, and transforming hope. John's wonderful message contains a personal message to us all. He points out this morning to do practical power of worship that will move us from our weakness to liberty, from trial to triumph. Our Savior and Lord knows exactly where each of us, the address of our partners, and He seeks to awaken our hearts to His presence and power this gifted day, saying, I am alive forevermore and have the keys of death and the grave. Revelation 1, 18. I pray that the hidden meaning of these words breathe into your soul and circumstance as they, just like John. Jesus is saying this morning, I am alive and I am your Lord. If you will walk in me, then I have the keys to unlock anything that shadows your days or obstructs your life. As the Holy Spirit brings us into God's presence, there we meet the all-wise and all-powerful one who calls us to worship that we might receive his wisdom and strength for this day 
as we experience a vision of God's throne. John says to us that same trumpet-like voice of Christ that he heard in Revelation 1.10 is also inviting us to come up here as Christ invites us to step through an open door that takes us beyond the visible limits of this world present problems to the invisible reality of God's unlimited power, including Christ's reign in our lives. He is not only the one who brought all things into being, but he is able today to bring anything about in your interest. As you and I seek him in spirit and truth with worship and praise. Remember the one who stand beside you in your home right now. And this day is the one who has once and for all broken the power of sin and death. And is not only coming to rule the world, but is living within us today to bring his victory into each of our battles, his comfort into each of our trials, his sufficiency into each of our needs. This morning, God reveals the victory pathway of worship that wins today to move your destiny and my destiny from our weakness and lack to the strength and sufficiency found in Jesus Christ, our living Lord and God. God bless you and stay blessed. Bye-bye.